Wow. The music and instruments, first of all, that is downgraded for me. I don't I don't see the reason why I don't have to use instruments to praise my God. Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Obu Gatsu Ichi. Super excited to be here and it's been amazing. Today have with me. Angel. Alright, Angel and I will be acting to a video why music and dance prohibited in Islam. Why are music and dance prohibited in Islam by Dr. Zakir Naik. Okay, it's been like for months now I've been reacting to Islamic content and it's been it's been an eye opener for me, you know. I've learned some things, I've come to understand some things about Islam and yeah. So today, um, Angel is a Christian and a stunt one for the matter. I'm also a Christian, but Angel, you know, <laughs> Bible study teacher and everywhere, you know, Angel is not ashamed of talking about her religion, talking about Jesus to people. So yeah, that's how I brought her on and today's um, video. So guys, let's go. Good evening, uh, my name is Nikila. I'm a dental student. Uh, my information about Islam is really uh, less. Uh, whatever I know is because of my friends. My question is, I've read this poster. They say that music and dance is like uh, not accepted in Islam. Why is that? I mean, you cannot say it's generally also you can you know listen to music or singing or dance or whatever. Uh, you cannot just say like only for Bharatanatyam or for any form of dance you have music. In general music also we have you when you praise God, when you show your emotions. Why is it said that music and dance is not allowed? Sister has the question that why is it in Islam that music and dance are prohibited? First I'll come to music then I'll go to the dance. As far as music is concerned, a beloved part from Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that the musical instruments as a general rule, they are prohibited, except to give permission for the duff, that is the one-sided open drum, called as duff or duffly. Besides that, the prophet prohibited because if you analyze, it takes a person away from the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from the remembrance of Almighty God. That is the reason when we hear these, you know, film songs, whether it be Hindi, it may be Malayali or Tamil or whatever it is, you find that in these film songs, most of the words that are mentioned, they are far away from reality. You know, the hero tells the heroine, Mai le chand ke le kaunga, Mai le sitare ke le kaunga, I'll get the moon for you, I'll get the star for you. We know it's not possible. No man can get the, the star or the moon for his lover. But yet, we keep on repeating because of the ambience, because of everything. So because of this, general rule is that the music does take a person away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the reason a beloved prophet prohibited musical instruments except for duff or as generally with your voice for example when a person recites the Quran if he recites the Quran his voice is good that's permitted because that takes a person towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the musical instruments along in the background do create a different ambience otherwise singing per se it is muba optional as long as the words of the song, they take you towards your Creator Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If the words of the song take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even that type of song is prohibited. Now coming to the second part, why is dancing prohibited? There is no verse in the Quran or no hadith that I know of which says dancing per se is haram. But normally because people dance to show to the other people you know, we have dance performance on the stage where as you Bharat Natyam. Now you're doing Bharat Natyam on the stage and thousands are watching you. So normally in terms of the hijab reason, we wouldn't like to expose our ladies, our mothers, our sisters, our daughters on the stage and thousands of people looking at them. So any profession in which the body is used as a show, as to entertain the people, it is prohibited. That is the reason dancing in public or dancing in parties where we have opposite sex mixing. Many a time the rules of dancing, they conflict with the rule of the Islamic Sharia. Normally when you have a dance, you have pairs, male and female. 
and most of these pairs that the girlfriend boyfriend and you dance in front of other people so because it breaks the system of islamic hijab that the reason per se it is prohibited because it goes again in the system of hijab so you have to realize that many a time when you dance you dance in public you go out for parties and you move around otherwise with you and your wife you can do what you want as long as it doesn't go against the sharia alone in closed doors husband and wife what they want to do as long as it doesn't go against the rules of the quran and sahih hadith there's no problem but because most of the time dancing exploits the body it includes singing dancing you go on the stage and other people are watching so it breaks the rules of sharia of the hijab and you can hear my video cassette women's rights in islam modernizing outdated which speaks in detail why do we muslims protect why do we love why do we revere our women for because we love our women that's the reason we protect them and we don't want to exhibit them that's the reason professions which involve singing in public or dancing or modeling these professions are prohibited for a lady hope that answers the question okay but i actually love in how they take care of their women you know it's very nice to be able to cover their hair because this is what the uh, um, tradition is or this is how their their rules are you're not supposed to remove your hijab because you have to cover your hair and everything you know it, it, in in christianity it says that the 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 hair of a woman is, is, the, is the, that's where the glory is the hair that's where the glory is everything so it's being um so that well it's being massaged it's being good and it's being covered you know okay and everything but let me just say this in islam they have actually followed their ways for a long time you know but with the way the generation has come to be and how the nations have been changing modern things have now become extraordinary so you don't expect children or don't expect some adults to actually still follow those things they are actually girls who want to be free not because they're not protected because they are you know they are protected they are happy you know and they actually feel loved but if you make it look like as if because um you have to wear a hijab and everything is like it, it, it feels like a punishment because if you are not wearing it it's a bad thing okay because they, they don't want to exhibit them mm -hmm. i understand that but at the same time people are losing it there are actually women who are losing it do you get it okay so in other way are you trying to see they are being caged that the hijab um it's like caging the women they're not but if as an islamic woman as someone who is a muslim muslim it is, it is part of you when you grow up except it's something they, they they grew up with you know and you understand except you don't want to be part of that or that religion because each religion has its own set of laws rules each organizations even in the company where you work in, even in schools each schools has their um set rules yeah. you know so in, if as a muslim then you should understand that being a muslim comes with you covering yourself very well because they believe not exposing yourself covering yourself that like it's meant for just your husband alone it's meant for you seeing you in all your glory let's put it in that way it's for your husband yeah of course now as i said it's a very good thing because you see it's meant for the husband and if the husband doesn't like the fact that she should not wear some certain things he's your husband you're supposed to listen to your husband that's fine but these are these are still people who actually um put their children to actually get married early and they don't actually go they actually grow knowing that i'm going to marry this man at this age and i have to now start following something right and i don't want to sound um i don't want to sound like as if it's a feminine thing because i'm not a feminist it's not good feminist has actually drop people away from men you understand but i'm not a feminist because it's not a good thing feminist is it has really destroyed a lot of women and men these days but i'm going to say this if you if um, you're a muslim and you have really grown from that and you've grown to the extent where you know very well because you see it's not just about the growing you know some of them they grow and they actually when they are little they want to actually be free of it you understand like 
Why can't I? Even with little girls. Oh, I don't want my daughter to 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 remove a hijab. I, I want you see that's what you see here in, in in Africa or anywhere else. You see the children are free. They are free to play and everything because they are kids, right? But when they get to some certain age as adults, you know you're gonna get married. But they marry them very early, and then there are some people who actually run away. I've had Muslim friends who have actually um um transformed themselves to Christians, right? And they have actually told me how they have lived, and they said it was a suffer. Because now they are free. They are actually in my choir, and now they, they 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 are actually free. If they want to tie their hair, if they want to wear a hijab. They wear a hijab, not because it's not. It's just something that they must do. But it's just a whole dressing move. That's why even in Christianity, you have to dress modest. You know, there's a there's a kind of dressing you dress in the house of God because you let's say now someone asks me one day you have a lot of piercings right, but you go to church with. I say of course I go to church with it. That's not what God is looking at. He's looking at my heart. He's looking at what I have to do. Because now, if God is looking at those things, a lot of people will go to hell. A lot of people go to hell. And with the fact that um, they have shielded their, 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 their um, women, it's so beautiful. But at the same time, some of them are broken because they're not free. Okay. They, they still want to, they don't want to show themselves to people. They just want to be free. It's not the fact they want to expose themselves to other men. That is their business. Okay. Talk, Do you understand? Talking about, about um, the music and, and singing and musical instrument, what, what do you have to say about that? Um, well, the music and instruments, first of all, that is downgraded for me. I don't... I don't see the reason why I don't have to use instruments to praise my God. Because now, as I said, it's modern days. So, God God knows that things are changing. So you can't stop it. It's like using but, a phone. But, but, but you know, the same God said, I am God and I change it not. Mm -hmm. So he made a certain rules. He knows technology is going to advance. He knows people is going to come up with a lot of things. Exactly. Different instruments are going to come on. Mm -hmm. But if he puts those rules, let's say, according to the prophets, right? Mm -hmm. It was inspired by God, or God gave him this thing to tell the people, put it down so that the people will follow. Then why should you want to change things because of what well, we are in the modern days? The same God knew all this was going to come on when he gave those rules. He say, oh, thou shalt not kill. He knows in, in 3,000, 4 million years to come, people will get someone angry, and you like you will do something that you want to kill that person. But when yeah. you remember that thing, oh, does that mean you have the right to shoot that person because we are modernizing because society now accepts some things? Mm -hmm. do, do, do you get my point? I I'm know trying what I'm to saying. Say? Yeah. Okay. So, to me, I, I don't have issues with instrument. As a Christian, yeah, I grew up with instrument. But I also grew up in a um, um, conservative um, um, environment, like the church I attend. The, we don't have piercings, we don't wear trousers, mm -hmm. and the rest of that. That's the, the environment I grew mm -hmm. up in. That's the kind of church I grew up in. Now, mm -hmm. um, the kind of instrument we even play also, it's not every instrument. We just use a keyboard. Don't even play drums. Mm -hmm. because Not because it's bad. No, 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 no. According to the explanation, you see, there's this spirit that comes with beats. Not like uh, it's a bad thing. Yeah. But... Imagine when you hit the drums, then comes with. You see, when the guitar comes in, it's a whole new vibe. vibe yeah. It's a whole new step. Things start going, you know. Now, most people go to church. Singing and praising God should be about singing. It should be about God. It should be about praising God. But I can tell you, I bet you, most of the. I was in a youth church. I was so involved in the youth church. But I can tell you, 70 to 80 percent of the youth cannot say most lyrics or most words in songs mm -hmm. because of just the beats they just know the beats once the beat comes in they are jumping just just for yourself they're not relating with what the words are saying yeah that's true you know yeah. that's what i when they said i talked about um beats and the rest um instruments and the rest, i understood yeah, yeah. Of course. people will start dancing and start doing a whole lot of things you will see people will be rocking each other in church i'm going to churches and i like i'm like okay is this a church or a club you know because of the beat there's this you see, when you, imagine when you go back to worship, you see how solemn, how everywhere becomes calm, people crying and the rest of that. You could easily pick out words. Those are the words, apart from the beats 
apart from the instrument that touches, like, you know, there's kind of instrument that enters you, you get some, so emotional and the rest of that. Okay. But then, when it comes to that praise and worship, you know, when you say handkerchief, people are, listen, people are doing a lot of things. You know, that's what I understood by when they stuck at that. Yes, okay. it's, it's kind of made sense to me, you know? First of all, the part where they had to do the raise a handkerchief, that's not praise. And that's not either worship, that's like celebration. That's what people don't understand between the meaning of praise and worship. And they don't understand the meaning of celebration. You see, when they have to dance, and then they, eh, hey, okay, let's praise the Lord. That's not praise. Praise is, um, I think uh, I've forgotten the scripture. I even posted it on my Instagram. I, I don't know why I've forgotten. But it talks about the, the fruit of your lips, you know. When you praise, praise is, is comes from words, exactly. Uh, of course it's from words. But let me just pinpoint the fact about instruments. Yes, we're using instruments. Now, in the house of God, God has already made it known that you are serving him. You're not serving man, right? You're not serving sound. You're serving him. That's why even when, even before we actually learn a song, we don't learn it with too much sounds. We learn it with just the, the, the keyboard, you know? making it flow with the sounds then from there that's when it starts so our our, what our pastor does that because we are called love with singers but our pastor does that we learn the song the lyrics very well before we start any other instruments it just have a flow that's it now when you now go to the congregation we actually teach the congregation so in teaching them we only use the keyboard and so they don't really listen to the keyboard they listen to the to the words then from there it flows with the keyboard, then the drums, and then the bass, and then whatever it's there, then the, the saxophone or whatever. Do you understand? So yes, of course, it's true. I'm not gonna I'm, it's everywhere where you where they are playing beats and everything, and some people cannot even open their mouth, even in secular songs. So people don't even know how to sing the, the lyrics, but it's just the beats that makes them so wild and everything, of course. But at the same time, it still does not move the fact that those instruments still helps with all those songs yes the main thing are the words god is actually hearing it but see because we are still here and everything this is what can be able to move them because there's some certain church i went to the last time they were they the way they were playing did not make sense to me and even the person singing the song and the way he was singing it was not giving do you understand not because i was, I was already in the spirit but you see this kind of song you sing and then you're not singing it well even when the the piano, the, the the keyboard is being played, the drums are being played, but it's not really, it's not. Nobody understands it. They're just oh, thank God, and they would not be saying their words. But you see, it's, it's a little thing. It starts from small, 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 small. You have to learn the lyrics, then you now go into the beats with it. If anybody in the congregation decides to just um, go with the beats, it's their own choice to go with the beats. God, as I said, as I said, God has given you a choice. He's not coming to come and be well, harming you because you're only listening to the beat. It's you. Are you really worshipping him with just the sound or are you really following the words? Do you, do you, do you know what it, it means to write a lyrics that is coming from God? And because most of the, the, the songs that have been coming from it's not just, some of them are actually prophetic. Some of them are actually scriptural. They actually come from scripture. You understand? And because of that, when people see it's, it's scriptural, they, they love it, they want to know it, but at the end of the day, they still want to see how it's being flowed. They want to understand how this verse goes. So it comes with a verse, a bridge, solo, all these kind of things. For oh. the dancing and every other thing, <laughs> dancing, whoa, of course you gotta dance for the Lord, you gotta, you know, you gotta dance. But for that rocking everything in church, that one is not a church. Well, if any church is doing that, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Sorry right. to say. <laughs> okay, um, thank you guys for sticking with us. If you have any suggestions or any opinions about this video, kindly drop that in the comment section. And if you have any videos you want us to react to, drop that in the comment section. And also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So, we'll come away next time.